Uh, okay, well, first off, I mean, uh, I never intended to be wearing a J shirt during this. Like, I literally woke up, got dressed, and then I see the notification. So, that's fantastic. That's fantastic that we already lost. Like, just, I had a fantastic wake up to the morning, eh? But, anyways, um, also, wearing an AirPod, let me know if the uh, audio quality is better at all. Like, I feel like the. Uh, the videos where i do something like this the, the quality's not that uh not all there it's not that good so anyway let's get straight to the point day oscar hernandez a two-time silver slugger and an all-star was traded away from the blue jays to the team that came back against us in the playoffs after we blew an eight to one lead how much more poetic can an offseason get than like this just like wh what is this what are we doing oh my god bro like breaking all-star outfielder teoscar hernandez has been traded from the uh to the seattle mariners from the toronto blue Jays. sources familiar with the deal tell espn so now it was a question of like what were we getting in return because we were just saying okay well we better not be getting chris flexed we want jesse winker like we were asking for some things here like you want something to replace him in the lineup, realistically. I mean, free agency is right around the corner, so it's not like we're going to lose a lot yet because we can go ahead and pick up somebody to replace him. From multiple MLB sources, the Mariners are expected to send reliever Eric Swanson and left-handed pitching prospect Adam Mako in exchange for Jay Oscar Hernandez. I've seen the statistics that Swanson puts up. He's actually a really solid reliever, and this is something that our team needs. Eric Swanson is actually very solid, and he should be a very valuable asset to our bullpen next season. However, out of all people, you trade away Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez, as Buck Martinez calls him. You trade away Teoscar. Bro, what are you do? What are we doing? There were so many other, there were a few other guys I would have traded away before him. Like, I would have seen what value Biggio or Espinal maybe have. As much as it would pay me to say, because I love Gurriel, we could have tried to trade Gurriel before we traded Hernandez, of all people. And the part that really pisses me off is that we traded him to one of our biggest rivals in the AL now. After that lead that we blew against them, it's huge now. The trade that we made, we just gave him away to an AL rival. My initial reaction to this trade was not very... Not, like, I wasn't fond of this trade, to say the least. I was a little bit pissed off. However, I mean, you look a little deeper into it. First off, Teoscar Hernandez, he's a free agent next season, and I don't know if the Jays will actually have the money to bring him back for what he wants. And he's also openly stated that Teo like he wants to test the market. So that's just, that that's brilliant that he wants to go ahead and just try like to, to go somewhere else anyways. So we traded him now for some bullpen help, which we're actually going to have control over for the next two to three years. So we actually do come out of here by holding on to a player that is going to be with us for longer and that might actually hold more value to us because right now the bullpen needs help. Our lineup is loaded, but the bullpen needs help. Obviously, I hate, I hate to see Hernandez go. I love Hernandez. But um, I wouldn't say it's a terrible trade. I really wouldn't. Everyone's saying right now, the Mariners fleece the Jays. They might have. They could, but we'll see how that plays out next season. Because free agency is still yet to start. I'm hoping with all the money that we're saving. Because um, just yesterday, we dropped Rymel Tapia and um, Bradley Zimmer. And then we also traded away Hernandez today. So we're saving a lot of money. Are we trying to go in here and make a big splash of free agency? I hope we are. If we pull off some stupid crap and get like Aaron Judge... You know how you know how funny that would be if we could get Judge and Vladdy on the same team, which I don't know if Vladdy even wants like to play with Judge. He's he said a few weeks back he doesn't want to go to New York. Blue Jays are showing interest in free agent outfielder Brandon Nimmo. Sources say the trade of Teoscar Hernandez has freed up a spot in the Toronto lineup to add the left-handed bat that they they have lacked. Brandon Nimmo would be a huge addition to the team because we do not have that many left-handed hitters. Like we need left-handed hitting. Like, it's unbelievable. We don't have left-handed hitters on this team. We need some help in that department. And if Brandon Nimmo can come in and fill in that role that Hernandez, Hernandez is leaving, and he could be that left-handed guy, that's great. I also, like, see a lot of people saying, well, you traded away a sober slugger. He got the two home runs in the last game of the season. I mean, I have I feel like I've watched, like, quite a few Jays games last season because, obviously, like, I work and stuff. I'm busy. But I try to watch, but like every time, I swear, whenever you need Hernandez in the clutch to do something, this guy is always, a, he's striking out the pitches above the zone. Like it's always a swing and a miss from Hernandez. I'm sorry. It always is. And it always pisses me off when he's coming up with like two outs in the ninth and you need at least a run to come in. Bro, he's not going to get the job done. He's going to strike out. <laughs> I swear. Hernandez is always that guy. Like he's a very hot and cold hitter. He's not like very consistent. He's a power hitter. He's won the silver slugger, 
but he goes into cold slumps and he's not the most clutch player either. So, I mean, at the end of the day, there's not much more left to say other than the fact that, like, we traded away a piece in the lineup that he's a very vibrant locker room guy. Like, the guys love him. We had great chemistry. Hernandez, I remember him, be, like, being here in the days that we were rebuilding. We had the last of Bautista and Donaldson. Like, I remember seeing him for the first time and I, he was just, like, he was a great player. And I was so happy to see what he can turn into. And he's become a great piece of a beautiful Toronto team that needs bullpen help desperately. Sadly, he was a sacrificial lamb that, you know, went ahead and we picked up a, play, a, a good bullpen arm. But I feel like we did overpay and we or we didn't get much in return. I feel like Seattle did maybe steal it right now. But it doesn't mean that we got absolutely fleeced. Hernandez, he's got his flaws. And I see, I like what I see coming out of Eric Swanson. He's a very good reliever. There is a lot of offseason left to go. There is so much time now, considering the fact that like the offseason is just getting started. The Jays are going to make more moves. The Jays are going to get some guys. If they can find a way to get both Michael Brantley and Brandon Nimmo, that just like solves the issue of us dropping like Tapia and uh, trading away Hernandez. Because now we have reliable, two, like, two more reliable outfielders to join Springer and Gurriel, which would be huge. Um, personally, what I'd want to see them do is somehow find a way to sign Gansby Swanson, move Bichette to second base, maybe trade Biggio or Espinal for pitching, because, like, we need somebody who can be really solid at shortstop. Defensively, we need somebody there. You're not going to get Trey Turner. There's no way you're going to get, like, a bigger guy. Gansby Swanson's not too big. Like, he's not, like, superstar caliber, but he's a very good shortstop. Bobichet's not that guy. He's not a good defensive shortstop. We need somebody with good defense. So hopefully what I want the Jays to do, find a way to get at least Swanson and Nimmo. Hopefully those two at least. And then from there, maybe they can go ahead and uh, possibly, I'd say maybe trade Biggio because you're going to move Bichette to second. And then your infield is going to be Chappy third. Swanson at short, Bichette at second, and Guer Guerrero at first. There's a lot of things the Jays got to do this offseason. However, coming out of today, we lose Hernandez. We do pick up a really good uh, bullpen arm, though, in Eric Swanson. Another like oh, another wild card, Magic Beams kind of prospect. And then uh, from here, to replace Hernandez, the best thing you could do, go get Brandon Nimmo. He's a left-handed hitter who can fit into your lineup. He could like slot in where you need him to go. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm asking for a lot when I say go get Dansby Swanson and then trade some other guys for pitching. It's not that simple. However, I'd love to see them try this is the season, like, they're running out of time before they have to give big paydays to Guerrero and Bichette. They need to now go ahead and start to capitalize. They need to spend some money. They need to get the bullpen help. With the, the right moves, the Jays can do it all. They can get what they have to get done this offseason. They have a legitimate shot like they always have. There is no reason as to why they can't go ahead and get it done, honestly. So, sucks to see Hernandez go. He, I remember him being here six, seven years ago. Fantastic guy to watch develop. Excited to see what Swanson brings to the team. And hopefully, Jason can get Brandon Nimmo. That's all I got to say for today. So, I mean, uh, painful day. It was a painful day, just to say the least. Absolutely painful. Anyways, y'all, that's going to be it for this one. want to thank y'all very much for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time, which next time is going to be tomorrow because that will be the MLW Discord Reacts for Game 1 and Game 2 of the World Series. So, I will see you guys all tomorrow for that uh, video. See y'all next time. Peace out.